what we need to do now is go ahead and install ZSH on our computer and hopefully understand a little bit about it. So what I've done here is I've actually created a new account on my computer just so that I can show you what it is uh, and how we can install it right from scratch. So uh, all I've got here is just Safari uh, and an empty terminal window. I actually don't even have iTerm2 open uh, to install it. So what ZSH is, is a shell that runs on your computer. So if we back it up a little bit uh, and open up our terminal window, you'll probably something see something just like dollar sign or, or maybe in mine, this is bash 3.2. Uh, 3 and what that is, is a shell that runs on your computer and it allows us to do things like we did in the last video uh, for creating files, moving folders, traversing, going, just moving around. Uh, uh, on our computer uh, via the terminal. Um, Bash is one of the most popular shells out there. However, people have said I can improve upon it and have created their own shells. So uh, Z shell or ZSH is uh, one of the most popular ones, especially among developers uh, that do a lot of Git and, and Gulp or Grunt or a lot of terminal stuff that we do. It, it really makes our job a lot easier. Um, there's another one called fish shell as, as well as a whole handful of other shells that are uh, pretty handy. So um, oh my ZSH is actually a framework that's built upon ZSH. So uh, bash and ZSH are the shells. Oh my ZSH is a framework built on top of it that makes our lives even easier. So you can think of it if you're coming from the web development world, JavaScript would be ZSH and oh my ZSH would be like jQuery or underscore, like a framework built on top of it. So to install it, um, I've just got a blank shell here. It doesn't matter what directory you're in because um, we're just gonna paste something in there. Um, and I'm over at the ZSH website at ohmyz.sh. You can also grab this info off of the GitHub. So there's two ways to install. Uh, via curl or wget. Um, curl is just a little thing that's installed on almost every machine. Chances are you, it'll work for you. So just go ahead and copy this little line right here. If you get an error that says like uh, command not found curl, try the wget one. But <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and copy this one. Head over to our terminal. Again, it doesn't matter where you are. Paste it in. Hit enter. Um, what it's going to do is go ahead and install it all for us. So it's downloading a bunch of stuff, it's creating files, and uh, now it's trying to change the shell for Screencast. So in this case, Screencast is my, my username. So yours might be uh, Ryan or whatever whatever your name is. So I'm gonna type in my password, hit enter, and it says, oh my ZSH is now installed. Some links to their Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of cool. However, you still see dollar sign or bash. So you don't have to worry about this after you open a new tab because ZSH will be uh, set to the default shell. So let's open up a new tab in here. Um, and right away you can see that my prompt here has changed a little bit. So it's colorful, it's got a little arrow, there's this little tilde. If I type LSSL, you can see that there's all of my documents. I've got some highlighting, um, CD into desktop. You can see that it, it adds the desktop folder right here to my prompt. So right away, I'm gonna close down my bash shell. You might get an, uh, something like this, terminate, good. Um, now I'm running, you can even see it right here, ZSH. Um, I am up and running with my Z shell. So that's all we need to know for now. As long as we have it installed, uh, we're good to go. In the next videos, we're gonna take a look at what are all the features of it and how do we customize it? Like we want a cool theme, we want a cool prompt, et cetera, et cetera. So see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out my book and video series, Sublime Text Power User at sublimetextbook.com. Use coupon code command line for 10 bucks off. As always, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Westboss, W-E-S-B-O-S. -S. Talk to you again soon.